See, Mrs. Squirrel is out, so I have to basically do everything for myself. Dark times, man, dark times. There's no, there's no service at the moment. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Dave. My, the chair is actually a better streamer than I am. Right, let's do this. You only have two and a half gig left on your hard drive. Delete some stuff. Uh, continue. Checking all passengers. All right, wait, 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 wait. I need to unlock the thingies, don't I? Uh, let's see, passenger monitor. Off for now. Stop the announcement. Turn those three off. Front door. Which was the lock? Unlock. There we go. It's those two. Right. It's a pity you can't hear the radio when you're out here. Wait, there's already bags in there. Okay, let's see. What time are we leaving? Let's log in. Augsburg to Linz. Oh, this is going to be more difficult, isn't it? Because some people may want to go to Munchen, Salzburg, or Linz. Okay. You want to purchase a ticket to Salzburg? Okay. Let's see. Salzburg is here. You're welcome. Augsburg to what? You want to go from Augsburg to Augsburg? How does that work? Ellen. Your name's not on the list, Ellen. You're not on here. Augsburg to Linz, says at the top. But she wants to go on the 12.15. But she wants to come back here at midnight. Is that what she's saying? Flatbeat, thank you for 54 months, dude. Four and a half years. That's ridiculous. Time flies. Thank you, Flatbeat. I take it the correct thing to do here is to say no. Cricket, I thought you need to wait nine months up for the first anniversary, lol. No, no, you get one every month. Thank you for nine months, still pens. 34 from Siri. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm a bit confused about what she wants here. Does she just want to drive around Augsburg all day? Look at the way she's doing that. She's like going... <laughs> oh, I'm going to say no to you, love. Albert. But what? Yeah, check your phone. Check your phone. You got it wrong. Fine. That's the ticket. Uh, sure. You want to go to Salzburg? Sounds good. Uh, Linz, 11.49. Sounds right, what's your name? Mustafa. Mustafa Donut. Right, you can come with us. Auf geht's. Guten Tag. She wants a single return to here. That's just the most bizarre thing. Jesse, 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 Jesse. I'm not seeing you on the list, Jesse. Where are you going, bro? Linz? So I'm, I'm not seeing you on the list, Jesse. That's the only thing. Okay, I guess it's all right. Guten Tag. Ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Ich habe ein something. She's going to Munchen. Very kind. She's going to Munchen as well. Her name's Valentina. Yep, can do that. Ciao. Well, you can scroll the list, but it only, only goes down that much, while and see. It's like a tiny list. There's only ten people on the list. It's really weird. Salzburg, Melinda. Yeah, we can we can do that. Sehr um, ist das gültig? Is this valid? To Munchen, for Carlo. Yep, that looks valid to me. Danke. 
Hi, fahren Sie in meine Richtung? Salzburg. Your, your twin brother's coming as well, I take it. Ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Kimmy! Yep, you're good. We're missing Hello. somebody. I'm guessing it's you. Hello. Sie wollen bestimmt mein Ticket What's your name? Are you Roman? Yes, you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're from the past, 2,000 years ago. Stevie LFC with a thousand bits. Check on the to-do list. Sometimes the names don't come up properly on the total for some reason. Thank you for the thousand bits, Stevie. I think we've got all the list. If you look at the check-in now. They're all they're, everybody's checked in that we're expecting. Um, there's nobody else here. What's the check-in time? Eleven forty-nine. Okay. Okay, we shall lock the doors. We'll fast forward time, I guess. There is a to do next to the check in. Um, to do. Yeah, I think it's just a filter. You know, like if when we check Roman in, if I had, before I checked him in, if I did that, he'd be on that list. So it's just a filter, I think. Okay, let's fast forward to one minute before departure. Well, uh, the musical scout, I've, I've literally been told the exact opposite of what you just said, that um, the Northern Alex didn't have a single problem with it. Uh, Horizon TMP can't wait to help planning the next school event. Dude, we need to decide. I'll, I need to decide with the team. We need to work out when the next date should be. Horizon. But yeah, look forward to another one. We need to do another MP. Definitely. Okay, right. I need to uh, close that door. Close that door. That's not close the rear door for some reason. Okay, that's, that's a bit rubbish. One second. I think it's because I don't have a button for this. And I manually did it. Okay, let's close the door there. Let's start looking at the stuff. Fresh room clearance is on. Uh, reading lights are all on. Uh, we'll put the monitors on now. Driver announcement can kick off. Even though I don't want to listen to it, I get 10 points for doing it. Not sure I should have done that, to be honest. Because I clicked on... Seems good. Departure time, 11.49, start the ride, let's go. You recognise the song? That's not good, is it? Okay. <laughs> I was just doing it so I didn't have to listen to this announcement in German. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. If you like to go to our Facebook page and listen to this announcement, you will get 10 points. If you stay within the speeding limits for 99% of the time, you will get zero points. The camera's weird. Well, I put, I put it super wide angle and using track IR, but yeah. Yeah, I know, Captain Jack. I remember him reading it out. Today, before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, Why would they announce in French and Spanish, Tommy? We're in Germany. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There's a rest beverages. in the rear boarding area. 
Oh boy, we're going left. Change channel. This bus has more than four emergency exits. If I had to get out of this bus in an emergency, I'd, every window, as far as I'm concerned, is an emergency exit. I'm like, I'm going to smash that. I think so, Jackson. If we get enough people for some Factorial later, we'll play Factorial. Oh my god, how long do we have to wait here? Finally! Yeah, that announcement is way too long. Like, nobody on the bus is going to listen to an announcement that long. They're just going to switch off. Crazy Logic Gaming, welcome to the NetHouse. Can we give Crazy Logic a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support. Yachts 4 started Speedbird last week. 2nd of April. Oh, it's too much lean! How do I put that comfort thing on again? What was that comfort option? Crawley gifted a sub to Paddy1219. Welcome, Paddy. Thank you very much, Crawley. Thank you for gifting a sub. Yeah, I keep showing the outside. I'm just trying to figure out the soft comfort option. One sec. It was down here somewhere, wasn't it? Comfort drive. Don't even know what it does. No, I'm not. I'm trying to get to 88. I'm, I'm cruising at 96 and 100 limit. If we don't get close to the limit, we'll be late, basically. Peter the Hobbit, thank you for 39 months. Yes, Fluke, using the wheel and pedals, just like you're a truck. Have you ever played the Ooh yeah. I don't know, that sounds like what the mar the sound the Martians made in War of the Worlds. Ooh yeah. Sounds like that. Well, the bus is already up, dude. Right, let's get a view on the outside. The Neoplan Skyliner. Yeah, I'd like to be able to... Um, the, the, the gearing on the wheel is too low in this compared to, say, Eurotruck. Even though I calibrated it. Micro console, in that case, no. Finally, I see the face with the famous voice on YouTube. Watch so many flight sims and stuff. <laughs> Welcome, Sim. Sim Eric. sit up very high. What, me personally? I actually don't, just the camera's tilted down. 
<laughs> I'm just on a normal chart. <coughs> Is reading chat a bit like texting, texting while driving? No, it's more like reading a newspaper while driving. Right, we're getting off here. Oh, in the game. Um, I don't know. I mean, your head's pretty close to the roof. people will check in at the next stop. Don't read chat and drive. That would be a very boring drive. limit at least the passengers haven't complained about the cold bus <coughs> If we stop here, I'll be able to see the traffic sign. Uh, lurking, if you look at bottom right, it's got the speed limit in a red circle. So I'm trying to stick to that. Uh, when does the vinyl arrive, Dave? Um, I'm expecting it to come Monday or Tuesday. So it said three days, and they ordered it on Thursday. Shane Goat, thank you very much for subbing, sir. Welcome to the net, Shane. Can we give Shane a nutty welcome, guys? see where the fuel gauge is. Ah, there it is. It's just under the RPM. Where the RPM gauge is, it's, a, it's the bottom left dial. Just a, just in the uh, left side of the wheel. Oh boy, we're in the wrong lane. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, I was just... I don't know, Dave. I mean, I'm just gonna... I've got such a bad week next week, I probably won't even get around to doing it next week. But I was just going to stick the insides first and then do the the big panel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polar Bear, good afternoon. Thank you for uh, the donation, Polar Bear. I care if I'm speeding and how does he know? Okay, that's me deducted points. What am I vinyling, Dr. Geek Thumb? Do you know how my racing rig has been like broken for a while because that panel snapped off? And um, and Dave did like a, a 3D model design of it and I've been trying to find somebody to cut the aluminium. Well, I finally found a place that cuts the aluminium for me. So I've had two aluminium panels made for the racing rig. Um, but obviously they've come straight from the factory, so they're like, it's literally like raw aluminium cut. <laughs> so I need to kind of just scrub it up a little bit, but I've bought some carbon fiber sheets, like sticky sided sheets. And what you do is you put the uh, carbon fiber onto it, stick it onto it, and then just cut out the holes. And that means it'll It'll look a lot better on the rig rather than just raw aluminium. It'll look carbon fibre. 
but obviously I've got to stick it all on, cut it to size. Uh, I'm going left into here somewhere. And then I take it, we keep left. Welcome, Muffins. I don't know if we're on time or not. I'm not sure what time we're meant to be here. Wow. How many passengers? Flare pen, hack. Okay. Neutral, parking brake, unlock the luggage, uh, anything else we need to do, probably open the doors would help. Twelve minutes before arrival, that's all, absolutely fine. No, nope, not that one. That one. Okay. Munchen at 13.09. So we're taking 11 passengers on and three passengers are getting off. So these are the people we've got to check in. So we'll click on to do and check them in. Oh yeah, lower the bus. That's one of the things I didn't do was lower the bus, which is turn that off now. Uh, lift down. Interesting. I think it won't move because the doors are open. Oh well. I assume it locks it. Never mind. Do you hold it? Are you sure? Yeah, you see it doesn't work. I think it's because the doors are open. It would make sense. Anyway. Munchen to Linz. What's your name, love? Jara. Uh, yes, you're on the list. Tag. Ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Tag. Uh, München to Salzburg. Sehr freundlich. You're welcome. Hallo, das Ticket. Bitte schön. Ciao. I reckon one of these two are going to try and. Sie wollen bestimmt mein Ticket sehen. München to Salzburg. Medellin Piper. <sighs> See, you're not on the list, love. You're not on this list. But how, how does that work? She's on the right line. She's going to Salzburg. But why is she not on this list? Cool. Cool. I don't get it. Excuse me. Okay. It said you need 11 people and only 10 are on the list. Yep, you're all good. Elsa, you're all good. Ciao. Hello, is this good? Theodore. Vielen Dank. Hallo, fahren Sie in meine Richtung? Cool. Cool. Ciao, ich hoffe, uh, ich bin hier richtig. Guten Tag, Sie wollen bestimmt mein Ticket sehen. Where's the passenger's name on this one? Oh, the Nisa. Ciao. Uh, you must be. Yep. That's everybody. They're not getting on. They're not getting on. Can you scroll the to do list? Well, yes and no. Although I can't see it now. No, I don't want to cancel. Yeah, I can't see it now. We're due to leave at 13.09. Let's lock everything up. How come, what would be really cool is if you got people who turn up like late or 
As you do, as you're checking people in, they're not all just spawned here. As you're checking people in, people start kind of like just arriving, going, "Oh, sorry, sorry I'm a bit late." Like, so if your bus leaves at 13:09, they're like running around the corner here at 13:08, and you go, "Oh yeah, you just made it." But if you leave early, you'll miss them. That's what it should do. Mr. Kinducci, how you doing? If I close the doors... I reckon... Yeah, it, so it locks it when the doors are open, which makes sense. <clears throat> when you drive, lift the bus with comfort suspension on. Well, you see, I've been told, lift the bus, yes. Comfort suspension, not in town, is what I've been told. You tell me. Lock the luggage. And we'll fast forward to the start time. And let's see. Driver monitor. Hello and herzlich willkommen. Hello, and this is that really boring thing all over again. Okay, I think we're ready to go. On comfort, the bus leans over when taking a turn. Why would you want it to do that? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm waiting for 13.11 before I click start. Should you not check the bus for people who are supposed to get off? No, Baz, I think they are just automatically despawned. Okay, start ride. Brakes. It's not okay if it does that, so comfort should be off in towns. I know, Baz, I know. But I don't think it's modeled in this game. I really think it should. A bus game is all about the passengers. It's, it's you know, obviously it's about the buses and stuff, but it's really about the passengers. And they should do all kinds of things, like try to get on the bus without paying, try to stay on too long, fall asleep and you have to wake them up, <laughs> arrive late. Seatbelts are compulsory on Flixbus. Yeah, Hannah. I remember when he did that. Toilet clogs, oh my god. I'd rather not have that. Seatbelts on going to law in Germany. Just no one actually uses them. <laughs> and yet these passengers complain when I go like over the speed limit by 2Ks. You drive at 800 kilometers home from work and looking forward to the new track I are waiting at the other end, Ashman. Yeah, you'll have to do a bit of playing around to get it set up, but it's all worth it. I'm guessing that as we drive the bus, the, the the fuel level will persist between each. Every time we create a route, do you start with a new full tank, or does it just persist all the way through them? Wow. 
No way can I see my filter light. Uh, why do buses not have seatbelts but coaches do? Two reasons I can think of yachts. One, buses tend to make shorter journeys, so it's a lot more hop on and hop off, and people just wouldn't use them. And two, they don't go anywhere near as quick as a coach. Like, coaches on, on the motorways, they're going as fast as cars. Can you give us a rendition of the wheels on the bus go round and round? can't do that. Although, Mrs. Squirrel could, because she, she was a, um, a nursery school teacher for a long time, so she's sung every song you've ever heard for kids, and many you've never heard of. And I've, over the years, I've cut so many CDs of different songs for nativity plays, for Christmas plays, like you name it, all the tracks. And they're so cheeseball. They're like the massively cheeseball, some of these songs. So, if this guy in front starts with MB, which city is he from? And is that how all German plates work? Like, it's always a city code at the beginning. Do you like the cheese ball tracks? Magdeburg. It's Mies Miesbach. What is it, Magdeburg or Miesbach? You just bought Factorio. Mrs. Frosty. Let me tell let me guess, Mrs. Frosty. Mutley has convinced you. I'm gonna take a guess at that one. That's that's Mutley's fault, not mine. Always a city code. Uh, it's not the city code, it's the regional code, says Baz. Miesbach is south of Munich. So which one is MB then, Baz? Uh, Dom, I actually looked at trying Farm Manager um, and then I watched a few couple of vids on it and read the discussions and reviews and it seems there's quite a few game-breaking bugs in Farm Manager right now like proper game-breaking bugs that need to be fixed before I'm going to go anywhere near it. MB is Miesbach. Ooh, mountains. So this is all... When did the DLC come out for the... Um, Switzerland bit, because this is all new to me, this DLC. Never been down these roads. Motley didn't say anything, Mrs. Frosty. Alright, so what, what made you buy it then, Mrs. Frosty? Pure farming. Not really a, not really a, a fan of pure farming, Mark. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do cattle and crops, I think, and have a look at that. Look how they just don't care about me indicating. Look. They literally don't care. The AI does not respond to your indication. HC Deviljack, welcome to the net house. Thank you for your support. Can we give HC a nutty welcome, guys? Roadworks coming up. I'm guessing we're going to be 60 through here. See, 
I thought the 60 limit applied to the cars as well. Like, he's overtaken a solid line, and he's going faster than 60. So how does this work? Why is he allowed to go quicker through here? I think he's trying to brake test me now. Fancy the game to learn and hope to play with others. You can play with 120 people at a time. <laughs> so... That shouldn't be a problem. That's Germany in a nutshell. They're not allowed to go faster than 60, but everyone does. Well, it's not just Germany where that happens, Baz. Do you know what we do, Baz, in the UK? They put average speed cameras up, and everybody sticks to the speed limit, Baz. If you don't put them up, people just break the limit. Let me tell you something about Factorio, Mrs. Frosty. It's way deeper than even I thought it was. Baz, do you not play Factorio? Because I can't believe you don't. You, you need to understand what's in that game, Baz. There's stuff in that game that will blow your mind. I was reading all about the circuit networks, Baz, and the stuff you can do. It's just insane. The UK is full of speed cameras. Pretty much. The M25 is completely littered with them. But having said that, they, they're, they're variable speed cameras, so they're not active unless they're restricting the speed. So. It's not as bad as it used to be. Like 10 to 15 years ago, there was a massive proliferation of speed cameras. And then, um, due to a, a big kind of revolt, if you like. They, they had to justify a lot of them because we're being accused of just putting them up for money. It's way too time consuming. You'd rather enjoy watching it. But Baz, it's right up your street. Like, it really is. you get these little kinks in the road like that? What's all that about? You don't put that on a 100k road. Afternoon, Steve. The A90 to Aberdeen is littered with average speed cameras. Yeah, we know how they're referred to. They're still speed cameras. <clears throat> Call them what you want. Factorio is a stamp stealer. Oh, I know that, Rintos. <laughs> Look, it leans way too much. Thought you'd pop in and say hi. What are you up to? Are you, are you having a... Are you having a day out? Mr. Stevo, you having a, have a day out walking or something? Or you're home? I tried to get into Factorio, it felt too clunky. Dude, there's nothing clunky about Factorio. Yeah, playing with the wheel. Speed limits are there for a reason. Don't know why people are trying to justify speeding in here. Let's not get into that discussion. It's raining. Dude, it's so nice down here. Well, it's not sunny, but it's you can go out in your t-shirt today. It's it's really nice. It's lovely. Stufflebeam! What a name. Welcome to the house, Stufflebeam. Thank you for your support. Can we give Stuffle a nutty welcome? Factorio is a soul stealer. It's addictive. It's not it's not known as Cractorio for no reason. It's 
like that the other day. But it's raining today. Yeah, April weather. Those mountains are a little bit round, aren't they? Got got soft edges on them. What's the point of the game? You basically transport passengers like you would in any coach. <laughs> That's the point of the game. Move passengers around. I've got a fear that we may be getting off here. No, nope, we're not. I don't like these stupid junction kinks. Oh god. It took you nearly 40 hours to get yellow signs. And you didn't get all the research, it's almost time for the rocket. <laughs> I have not built the rocket yet, and it's something that I want to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baz, one sec. The way it works in Germany is simple. A few years ago, all construction works on autobahns had an 80 limit, and everyone was doing 100, so they changed to 60, so everybody was 80. There is some sense in that, Beth. There is definitely some logic in that. And one, the AI, basically the AI in this game doesn't care what you do. It'll just do what it wants to do. Like, if you indicate in your truck, to an extent, they'll back off. In this, they don't. Just work from that premise. Glorified gamer, 27 months back from my two-week hiatus. My grandmother passed away 10 days ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks for the thoughts and prayers from everyone. Glorified gamer. What is this? What is this madness? We've got a 100k limit, just dropped to 50 here. Welcome back. Welcome. Uh, Ricky Cheng, thank you very much for gifting a sub to friends100580. Welcome, friends. Thank you, Ricky. These roads are way too narrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Salzburg looks like... It's got roads like York. <laughs> what, your friend lives in Salzburg? Nice. No idea where these trucks are going. Are you going that way? You, coming that... you see, he's coming at me, but I have no idea. Ken Shaw, hello Paul, the best way to wake up a passenger I find is to hit the PA button full volume, high pitch feedback works a treat, safety first. I can see that working. Yeah, Photonic, you see that was banned a long time ago in the UK. Because hiding behind a car like that is two things about that. One, it was deemed as entrapment. And two, it actually looks like from a distance. You don't know that somebody's pointing a speed camera at you, like a, a laser gun, or if it's like a proper gun. So it's kind of a bit dangerous. So we got rid of that nonsense. Hiding in bushes and jumping out and going, ha ha, you're doing 55. And people are like, whoa, he's trying to shoot me. He's coming over here in a few weeks for work. I'm planning to meet up for a few beers. Nice. Oh. You recently passed your Clash 2 license. Can't wait to play ETS 2 for real. 
do, don't even think about pulling it on me. Has it got any better since launch, Epic Gamer? Um, I, I think it has got better since launch. To what extent, I don't know. It's still got the same clunky interface. The AI doesn't appear to have improved massively. Um, there's more content. A couple more buses and more map to drive on. I guess they've squished all the bugs to do with um, passengers and things. But I don't know if it's moved on hugely, you know. Salzburg unlocked. Okay, parky brake neutral. Doors are opening. No, doors are closing. Because I need to lower the bus first. Now the doors are opening. Turn off the announcement. Uh, unlock all that good stuff. You need a flipping checklist just to go through when you stop the bus. Welcome to Salzburg. Mm, I should have parked a bit further over, shouldn't I? LOL! Sorry! Sorry. I know you're just going to wait there patiently, like real past real drivers would. Yeah. I'm kind of a bit far away though, aren't I? I don't know how I'm 40 minutes early, Ben. It makes no sense. I'm only due to leave here at 15.43. That's insane. Look at this. Look at <laughs> like they just sit here this is the other thing that the AI will make no attempt to go around this because if you imagine there's an invisible line going down the middle of this road and they will follow that line and if, they, if they're blocked they won't go like the AI will not adapt and do this I left that for cycle cyclists to get through that's what I did Servus das Ticket. Bitte schön. Uh, let's see. Nelio. Is your name on list Nelio? Yep. Sehr freundlich. Is this your twin brother? Is this Smelio? Can I click on him? Okay. What the heck? Uh, okay. Something wrong with your arm? Oh, you're ripped, man. You're ripped. Here is my ticket. How are you? Queering. Queering? Yeah, you're good. Vielen Dank. Well, I can't check this guy in. I can get inside his head. Quite literally get inside his head. <laughs> this is what it's like to be this guy. <laughs> no, no, don't look down. Don't look down. No, stop it. Stop it. You're spoiling the view, bro. Oh, he's looking at his phone. One sec. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I've never known a game let you do that before. My side. Here, oh, that's my ticket. Right, Johnny. Are you on the list, Johnny? You're not on the list, you see? Where are you going? Salzburg to Linz. Oh, we can do that. We'll take you. <laughs> Open your front door. Baz. So picky. What's that, mate? How are you, what are you doing with your left thumb there? What are you doing with your left thumb? You've got nothing in your hand. What are you texting? You're not texting anything. I can see what you're doing. Uh-huh. Mahlzeit. Here is my ticket. Linz, yeah, you can come in. Mahlzeit. Is this good? Larissa. Larissa. You're on the list. Hello, love. Can I help you with your bags? You look like somebody drove into you. You're like you're broken. What is going on with this girl? My side, my ticket. Oh my God, she, she actually looks like that. What's your name? Lorena. Lorena, you you can come on board, love. Vielen Dank. Road rage. Tag, let's uh, let's see. Good. What's your name? Maria. Yep, that's good. Ciao. She has sideburns. Shh. 
Moin. Fahren Sie in meine Richtung? Isa. Sehr freundlich. Isa, you can come in. Servus. Das uh, geht. What's your name? Aria. Looking good. Ja. Uh, I don't know what you two are doing. You, you've got a bag in your leg, though. It's not a good sign. Oh, he wants a ticket. Guten Tag. Kann ich bei Ihnen ein Ticket kaufen? Wants a ticket to Linz. We can do that. There you go. It's all good. Uh, Tony, are you on the to-do list, Tony? Yeah, you are. Sehr freundlich. Two more. I think you might be one of them. Servus. Sie wollen bestimmt mein Ticket sehen. Servus. Damien Fichtner. Cool. And das Ticket, bitte schön. Alva, are you the last one? You are. Cool. Cool. I love it when they say that. You go, cool. Dude, seriously, just drive around. Come on. It's really not that hard, is it? Oh. So, guys, how can we solve the problem of really poor interior detail? We can black the windows out so you can't see how bad it is. Yes, it's a solution. Have you not got stop-start technology on that, Mark? You really should invest in it. Okay, that's everybody. Guess they're not coming with us. Okay. Achievements unlocked, regular coach driver. Well, I've not caused a massive traffic jam. This stupid AI has. Right, 1543. Let's close the doors. Let's uh, lock that stuff. Let's play the announcement. You know you want to. Let's uh, lift up. Suspension. So comfort goes on when we're on the highway, right? Is that right? Is, does comfort go on on the highway or around town? It's a bit confusing. I know I'm not parked well, but the game should adapt a little bit, shouldn't it? Don't you think? We're leaving in 30 seconds. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt Okay. Start the ride. Oh, you can take a break now. Is that your refuel? Holt euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von Spark break off. Let's go. stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. I don't know if it works like that, Gregus. I'm guessing if you do that, then um, it won't count. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you hey. on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information. Uh, Evan, good night, and Edward T. Welcome back. Wearing of seat belts is compulsory on board the Not bad, Luke. Not bad. Therefore, please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the entire journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find. I tell you what, though, I'm on 90 field of view, and this doesn't feel like 90 field of view. There's a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, uh, welcome, Dr. Problem, Nichols. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download. If you'd like to book your next journey while you're on the road, why me? 